Hello children. Today we are going to see the important questions of the lesson Deep Water by William Douglas. This is for class 12 and uh, in this video includes the question that had come in the 2020 exam also. In case you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel because you will get a lot of videos similar to this one. Today we are going to see the two mark questions including the question that was asked in the latest exam. For your uh, convenience I have given the link which you can uh, follow in order to see the quick lesson summary points that is you will do the lesson in a matter of minutes and you can remember the points very easily. Uh, two more questions. First, all we have to fear is fear itself. When did Douglas learn this lesson? Douglas had a water phobia. He completely won over his fear and it was then that he learned about this lesson. He dived into the Lake Wentworth, swam to and fro. The full length, it was at this time he realized that all we have to fear is only fear. Question number two, how did his YMCA swimming pool experience affect him? He actually walked home after the mishap. I don't know if you remember, but he was thrown into the water by a big bruiser of a boy. And then after he came out, somehow he managed to uh, be taken out of the water. And after the mishap, he felt very weak and trembling. He shook and cried in his bed. He didn't eat that night and for several days he was haunted by fear. Haunted means frightened. The slightest exertion upset him, making him wobbly in his knees. Wobbly means his knees were shaking and he felt sick. He never went to the pool again. He feared water. For years it ruined his fishing trips, canoeing, boating and swimming experiences. Question number three. How did the coach make Douglas a good swimmer? The coach broke up the procedure into three units. He first tied a rope to Douglas waist. The other end of the rope actually it went through the pulley and then it was held by him. Thus Douglas swam end to end a number of times. He then taught Douglas the correct way to breathe while swimming. What was the correct technique to put out his nose and breathing and then to put down his nose and he can breathe out. Thirdly, he made Douglas flap his wings for many number of hours. Then piece by piece he combined the units and Douglas could swim without fear. Question number four. What lessons did Douglas learn when he quit his fear of water? When Douglas quit his fear of water, he learned that what we have to fear is fear itself. There was nothing else we have to fear but fear. He also learned that we must accept and face our fear and try to overcome it. Besides, he realized that there is only fear of death. But in death, there is total peace. Question number 5. How did Douglas remove his residual doubts about his fear for water? You remember he practiced for hours together in the swimming pool and there were only tiny vestiges of fear. Most of the fear was already removed but a little was left. How did he finally remove all the residue of fear that was there in him? First he went up the Titan to Conrad Meadows, up the Conrad Creek Trail to Meat Glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning, he stripped, dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as Do Corporon used to do. Finally, he had conquered his fear of water. Question number six. Why did Douglas' mother feel that he should learn swimming at the YMCA pool? Douglas' mother felt that YMCA pool was safe because it was only 2 or 3 feet deep at the shallow end. While it, it was 9 feet deep at the other end, the drop was gradual. Hence, there was no chance of any mishap or any accident taking place in water. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वॉट डज डगलस फील एंड डू वेन ही वॉज पनिश्ड इन द स्विमिंग पूल वेन ही वॉज पुस्ड इन टू द स्विमिंग पूल आई एम सॉरी डगलस हैड बीन सिटिंग वेन ही वॉज थ्रोन इन टू द वॉटर सो ही लैंडेड इन द वॉटर इन इज सिटिंग पोजिशन ही वॉज कंप्लीटली शॉक्ड ही वॉज फ्राइटन बट नॉट फ्राइटन आउट ऑफ हिज विथ्स on the way down he planned that when his feet hit the bottom he would make a big jump come to the surface and paddle to the edge of the pool question number 8 how did the narrator develop a fear for water in deep water this was a question asked in 2020 examination but this question is very important it has come before it has come as childhood uh, fear of water what actually caused the fear this has come in different words but uh this uh question is very important answer when douglas was 3 or 4 years old his father took him to a california beach every time the waves knocked douglas down he clung to his father clung means held tightly who only laughed at him when he was 10 or 11 he went to swim at the ymc ca at yakima uh there's a yakima river also his mother continually warned him against river yakima which was dangerous and kept fresh in his mind the details of each drowning in the river his mother did not allow him to forget all the accidents that had happened in the yakima river so that also instilled a fear of water in young douglas mind question number 9 though the swimming coach was satisfied douglas was not how did he further perfect his swimming skills to remove any residual fear answer douglas went to wentworth in new hampshire dived off a dock at tricks island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island he swam every stroke there the fear came back once but vanished quickly vanished mean disappeared he also went up the titian to conrad meadows up the conrad creek trail to mere glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of the warm lake he dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back thus he removed all the residual fear for water with this we come to the end of the two markers that are important and all these questions were asked in the exam thanks for watching